Hello everybody, it's the Capitalist Games and welcome back to Project 101. I got a little build here from my monolith, it's the new version, and I want you guys to take a look at something. I'll load it in. And if you first go into build mode, you can uh, take a look at this. First you got of course the four tracks. But here, you guys also got four wheels. First, I gotta do it without the wheels. Gotta drive a little bit around. Okay, get you guys get a little bit of feel how this thing moves. You can see the turning circle on the move. How it tightens up when slowing down. That's pretty much it. Adding back the steering wheels. All the way in the back. Gives me one really nice advantage. When I'm going to get this turn, I'm gonna start drifting. I have the rear ones. It looks a little bit of grip, but you can see how much tighter that turn is. This is kind of a half-track build, but at the same time not really. <laughs> but it's just insane how much tighter a turn becomes from just adding those rear wheels. I have not tried to do it on just the two wheels, so I'm gonna take a look at it now. Probably still gonna have some effect, but not as much as the other one. Just shuts off, of course. Has to be some action in every video, pretty much. Before it gets boring, or eh. You can see here. This thing turns again much wider. So you have to take your four wheels. Otherwise, it won't work. For this to work, and uh, to, uh, to make this system, first you gotta simple 8x4 frame. And then you have a 6x4 frame and a 4x4 frame. And uh, to those two, I connect these armor tracks. And then there's a 3 wide space right here. Just enough to fit in the wheels. Same way with the front, these tracks are 3 wide, so I use a 8x4 uh, shape and add the tracks on that. This is my way of doing a half track, giving it tighter turns. But I guess we can try make one or for own. For half track, I will start out just the front side, yeah. With single four frames. And a pair of armored tracks. For the cabin, I will use the bear cabin. Six wide frame. I really like this cabin, it's really powerful. And I will do a little bit front parts and then add these little steering wheels. If you can take a look at these are wider the frame. No, actually that still fits, so I'm gonna take these. I will have to do these one backwards though. There we go. Four wheels, two tracks. I don't really want to do this with just one pair of wheels. Because that makes it really easy for those wheels to be shot off. I am gonna get a stacked cannon design. So first do one cannon right here, then a second cannon right there. And take a look at how this work performs. Turn the circle's fine. It's really really stable, but it's not that fast of course because of this tracks and it does have some limitation at some point of course you cannot really turn on the spot with this but if you try to do it like this let's take a look like this you can turn but of course you only have one pair of tracks and one pair of wheels so you have to make a choo uh, you have to choose a net I'm gonna add some more bumpers. 
Actually, I'm gonna take Torrentos. Those are a little bit sleeker. I really like that, how that looks. And then some truck stops to cut off the corners. Does really have an effect on the actual rig. And to make the frame slightly longer, I'll take a six white. Finally, to get some small details up, add a little fan ramp. And this is for the extra cover for the actual gun. Next step are some pipe structures. And a little roof for my cannon. Let's take a look at how the elevation is. Elevation did not suffer from that by the looks of it. So that's good. Although I'm gonna turn it around because I want this little edge right here. Looks pretty. It's always possible to hit this cannon right here now. Actually with this we can save some parts by adding white slopes instead. And time to do the same for the top one. Uh, this time for small ones. Like this. Guns are entirely armored. And a quarter wall. Actually, there's just two white space there, so I'm gonna add these two. And then go for the fun window. And this does make it for a pretty large build already. But I like it kind of. So let's extend the main armor in towards the back. Like so. There we go. And add a pair of narrow wings. This way you got some really nice protection on the sides. Don't really have to worry about side armor anymore. There we go. Next up is some nice detailing. This is m slightly more of an art build because 3.5 times the power score with just these two cannons. And uh, not great. However, with this system, I can add. A nice ammo pack in the rear, of course. And a few truck stops. Next up is a one layer of armor in the back. Gonna need to use an Avia slope for this. And I want to put these right inside. So, with the space I got right here, I can put an engine. Oh, I actually need a generator for that. So, can we put this one right here? Weight wise, we're kind of in a trouble right here, so let's cut down on the weight a little bit. First part, and the next step are these ones, and that one frame in the rear. We can also save weight on that one, which is rather heavy, 354, with 162 on this one. Save quite a lot of weight. And actually we can still lose a little bit of weight this fat thing. <laughs> there we go. Mm, let's add that engine. It's bummer I could have added a big engine, so actually I'm gonna mount it 
epic engine because I want to. It's gonna look like a beast then. <laughs> this powerful engine sticking in the rear. Like so. That looks <laughs> like a beast of an engine. Again, this is more like an art build now, so I'm not really going for battle efficiency anymore. That limits the firing arc, that does not. So now we got kind of a fan. These windows does help making it the or the kind of the illusion of it being a fan. <laughs> Although in the front of the, having those two cannons, of course, sticking out. This engine in the back. I'm gonna cut off the rear with a well, something quarter wall. Kind of add these, of course, back because I do not really have to worry about the weight anymore with the powerful engine. And instead, place one of these avio panels right here. Now that the rear part is also cut off. And I have to say, I really like the look of this thing. Cannot add any fenders on the outer side of this Torino fender. Downside of having that one. But I can add a extra wheel on the side. And on the other side, get my twin exhausts. Get a little bit of XP bonus right there. Finally get these things. This thing right here. It's gonna limit my firing arc. Yeah, it's gonna limit my firing arc. Which is something we do not want, of course. So let's just keep it at this, I guess. Gotta place it and remove it that. And for now, I'm just gonna take a look if I can get a little heist match going with it. It's gonna be a pretty interesting build to play. <laughs> Three, two, one. There we go. Got a quad minigun build, twin cannon build. As well as some machine guns. I think that guy gets Saifa. <laughs> I think the walk along with that guy is pretty much riding on his strength. <laughs> I can't really shoot them with these cannons. <laughs> so just have to evade them for now. Oh, that is gonna be an issue. to go. Of course. There we go. And of course with this guy. Wait. Of course I have to get stuck. Rip. Oh I lost my wheel. But they've got free. Oh 
I'm actually going to do get, the, uh, get this mindset trigger. Nice. That works too. I can get by worker. Those mini guns do save today. <laughs> Damn. Twin cannon grills, man. I just think those mini guns. I actually really kind of consider taking those. Do a lot of things with that. Take a look how they perform. Get the fuel barrels on these guys. Sometimes you can see those red fuel barrels in the back. Pretty easy kill, as you can see here. Red fuel barrels. Just gotta hit those. That was a miss. Shot. There we go. Hit it this time. And it's simply gone. That, do that one does not have to wear the fuel barrel. Got his ramming weapon, so don't have to care about that guy anymore. Three more rounds left. Still doable. Very much doable. Target on the right, coming in. I, have to, I don't actually deal with it, luckily. I have to say, an option with this thing is to upgrade the bear coming to a car posh. Then use the armor, uh, the engine. That would be an interesting strategy, or actually just turn the ammo packer backwards. That will be, of course, more armor and more power of the better en uh, engine on the carpage. But I think I'll leave it at this and uh, leave the armoring thing and stuff to you guys. See, we can actually do one tiny little thing. Have a shop locker right there. And make the corners with these ones. There we go. Finished. A little detailing, of course. Always nice. Oh well. This is it for this little episode. And I hope you guys will enjoy it. And I will see you guys all later. Bye-bye.